Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Smile and Learn. Today I am going to show you a very simple experiment that you can do at home. And the results are going to be such that you will be so happy to have made your own volcano at home. So now let us see how to make a volcano at home and test the eruptions. So for this we will need a conical flask like this one or any glass jar that you have at home which is transparent. If you don't have a conical flask you can always get it at a lab store or a surgical store or use any glass jar as I mentioned some time ago. Then you will also need a little bit of vinegar about 60 ml and you are going to need some baking soda. Please make sure to use only baking soda and not baking powder because they are not quite the same thing. Then we will also need little bit of uh, red food coloring or an orange food coloring and very little bit of dishwashing liquid and a small spoon. Now let us get started but before starting make sure you have an adult to help you and a plastic tray nearby if things get a little bit messy. So I'm going to place my conical flask on this plastic tray. Now to get started take the baking soda and add it into the conical flask little by little very carefully. Now we have finished this. So now we are going to add in little bit of food coloring. And now using a small spoon add in little bit of dishwashing liquid. when you have added the desired amount of dishwashing liquid we have to carefully add the vinegar now be very very careful at this part because things can get a little messy here well you can see that the volcano has erupted now you can add little more food coloring to make it a bit more red in color but I have added very little food coloring. Now once um, you have done this you will have to clean this up and you can take an adult's help to do that. But why do we see such an eruption? Well this is, this is because vinegar is acetic acid and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. When these two combine together or when they come in contact with each other it will create carbon dioxide and as the carbon dioxide emanates from our jar it will come up with such force and and along with this all the liquid will start coming up in the form of bubbles and uh, foam because dishwashing liquid will foam up due to all those um, liquids and the carbon dioxide that we added and so we see this foamy eruption or a volcanic reaction. Do enjoy making your own volcanic eruption at home and uh, if you like the video please do like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting experiments and other videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!